another GVG control panel and ATM tutorial. And this time we're going to be talking about the long awaited EMEM. Focus it. And this uh, EMEM facility allows us to save uh, panel setups and recall specific or selected panel setups. Just make this thing focus. There you go. Um, so basically it allows you to load and save uh, and also it allows you to protect registers and there's 256 registers and those registers are saved onto the SD uh, chip built in to the controller um, and if you need to find out the intricacies of how it works because I'm not going to discuss that here just go to the online user's guide um, which is a PDF and just make sure that it's click here I love hitting this auto button let's make sure it's at least 1.16 on the um, on the version number and um, uh, and then when you get there you'll see we'll just get into here down the bottom there's a section up here called MM loading and saving panel settings and it'll tell you how to do it all um, far more detail than what we're going to discuss here. What um, um, what we what we have in here um, is that we have three different functions. First function is if we want to save an EMEM or save the panel. The way save works on here is that actually every time you hit the save, it saves the whole panel setup, regardless. Everything you've got on the panel and everything that's selected and set inside the ATM it will save so it doesn't partially it just saves the whole lot there's, an, there's a, an, another tutorial which I'll discuss later on where it can actually do partial saves but so if you want to save you hit the EMEM button and it'll glow and um, what happens is that the, um, the EMEM uh, when you hit the EMM button, it'll indicate over here on the display that it says it's going to save to register number 001. And as I said, there's 256 registers, and I can then step select whatever register I want by hitting um, the ones, tens, and hundreds. And um, I'm just going to take that by holding down on the <coughs> the shift button. It goes backwards. So let's just go back to the register number one. So it says it's going to save to register number one. So if I want to do that, it's going to save everything that the panel has set up on it with the, in the ATM, and it's going to hit enter. And then the whole lot will then save. And you'll notice after about half a second, it clears, and that's everything's been saved. Now, if you want to um, say go to say register number two, you want to change change the panel settings you can go to register number two by hitting the mem button and then just clicking up and then you can hit enter and it's now saving the whole panel to register number two um, it has a facility where you can um, in the uh, telnet setup you can tell it to um, which will show you up here um, it says in there somewhere I'm looking 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 somewhere emem there it is up the top here emem auto increment on off um, and what that does is it allows you to um, when you if you say save to register number one the next time you go to save it'll automatically be on register number two and then you save again and it'll click up to register number three so you can quickly save a whole sequence um, in, in sequential order and then when you do a load and you've got um, auto increment on you can do load one and then it'll then automatically step to be ready to load number two number three number four number five onwards at the moment I've got that turned off um, but you'll see it when you use it and how it works the um, now to do a to do a load it's the same as doing a save except you just hold your finger on the shift button and I'm going to try and do this with one and um, and this time the uh, EMM button is actually flashing 
indicating you're doing a load, not a save. And of course, this is going to instantaneously write over anything and everything that you've got selected. Um, and it tells you what register that you're going to save to. I'm just going to go back to, I'm um, sorry, load. I'm just going to go back to number, register number one. Um, there you go, register number one. Um, and now in load, you can actually select what parameters you want to load out of the panel. And those panels get displayed on the Telnet connection. And this again is documented in the, um, in the user's guide. If we just go back up to the user's guide here, you'll actually see there they are there. So you can see um, you, by using the pattern select buttons, um, one to 10 uh, will give you um, 10 different selections of what you want to recall. And then pattern, uh, pattern shifted one to 10 will give you a second lot. So very quickly you can see there's um, ME1 user keyer 1, ME1 user keyer 2, ME1 transition, DSK1, DSK2, media player 1, media player 2, color gen 1, color gen 2, Pro program preview cross points there, the, um, what, you, what you actually have selected online and preview uh, when it was last saved. So, um, now, as I said, these can all be individually recalled. They don't have; to, they're not all recalled at the same time. Uh, unlike save, which actually saves everything at once. Uh, then we continue down when using the shift button. Uh, ME2 user key one, which will also be uh, key of three. ME2 user key four, which would also be key of four. There on the one MEs. Uh, ME2 transition, uh, super source, all everything to do with the super source uh, and the boxes and the backgrounds and the arts and all that. Um, all audio settings, um, which is all the audio mixer settings, um, and it's specific to my software is the uh, deck A and deck B, Q and still values for the time codes. Um, eight and nine, I've yet to find functions for those. Uh, and then number 10 actually we will recall everything. So everything that's up there recall in one go. So you can have a complete panel setups. Now there's three other items which are mentioned down the bottom here, but those three items uh, if you um, if you're in load and you press any program row, it will recall um, all the um, allocated uh, cross points that you've set for the 20 inputs. Um, and again, if you press the um, preview row, um, it's not the preview because the program row is also the preview row as far as allocations. But the preview row will recall all the aux allocations that you have. Um, if I'm talking googly gar to you, you look, read it in the manual what they are, but it's just setting the cro whatever cross points you want for whatever buttons. And of course the key row uh, in emem load will load all the key all allocations. We're not going to use any of that at the moment. So as you can see, it's sitting here. Um, on, it's sitting on number one, saying it's about ready to load register number one. Now if I just click up here, you'll notice as I'm going through, uh, we're going to get to a point where the L flashes. Now that's flashing, and if I go back one, it stops flashing. The flashing L being load indicates that that register is not out, hasn't got anything in it. It hasn't been saved, so there's nothing saved in that register. So if I um, if I now just press enter. It will now load everything that I've told it to load um, on the uh, pattern presets, as I talked about a moment ago. If we go back to load again, there it is flashing, and you can see that there's no lights on here, so it didn't load anything in the first 10, as I discussed up here. There's the first 10, it didn't load anything because I haven't got anything selected. So you can select them. You can select one or all or anything. So as you know, one and two, a USK key is one and two. So I can just say load upstream key one only or upstream key two only. Um, the um, like nine and 10, for instance, uh, sorry, eight and nine, uh, color gens one and two, you can load any of those or all of them. Uh, and then if you hold your finger on the shift key, there's a second set of 10. Now you notice I've actually got number 5 here and number 5 um, is the audio settings. So 
I'm, I'm going to now show you how I'm going to recall just the audio settings and as I said there's 256 registers so you can have 256 different versions of the panel setups so there's the audio mixer there now and I'm going to recall I don't know what was in 8 but I'm just going to recall if you see here the audio which is what the fifth lead button indicates you're going to recall that into the panel and see what happens so let's just yell here hit enter and I guess it must have been what I had so I'm going to go back now to um, load register number one and just go back here to one there's register number one we're in load and I've got audio selected so now if I hit enter there it is that was what was in register number one now I've also got another tricky one here in register number five so I'm just going to go back to load again I might maybe make me look this awkward but I am using one hand so I'm going to go to register number five which is something I just preset before if I can bring back here there's register number five audio and there's a nice little pattern for you so that's everything that was loaded uh, it all saved previously in register number five of the 256 available registers now another thing you can do here as well is uh, we can actually um, protect um, a register so we so we won't be able to save to it so if, if I just hit the um, EMEM button it will always show me the last register selected unless I've got auto increment on which will show the last register plus one so if I now press I've just hit save as you just saw or well, incident you can abort just by hitting any other key other than the enter key so I'm just going to hit the select button to abort and um, we've now haven't char haven't loaded anything at all if I press load sorry save I'm about to save it says save and if I press save again you'll see it's now flashing and what that means is that I've just protected it I've protected that register number one I can unprotect it again just by pressing the button again and now you can see it's saying it's just going to save but this time it's not going to actually save if I hit enter as all we've done now is we've just told it that we're just changing the protection flag of the register so I can hit enter and as all we've done is change the protection flag of that register we'll do it again I'll hit enter oh, sorry hit emem and you can see that we're sitting on emem number five and I just want to change it so I can protect it so I just hit the emem button and now it's in protect mode and I hit enter so now again if I hit the emem button straight away it's going to come up and tell me that that's protected and if I try and save something to that it won't let me in fact I'll just show you if I bring up the telnet window again if I can find it it's up here somewhere there it is so if I hit the telnet and I hit enter It'll come up and tell me that it's been right protected. It says EMEM, uh, EMEM register number five is right protected. And um, if you know how to use some of the Telnet commands, you'll see if I hit capital D, press capital D on the Telnet, um, it shows me all the files that's actually on the SD card. And you'll see there's a whole lot of files there called EMEM, uh, sorry, dot uh, EME, EMEM. So the one I've been using is EMEM1 and EMEM5. Um, but if you're using a lot of EMEMs, you'd have, you can have 256 of those sitting up there. So um, so that's, um, that's basically it. Uh, as I said, read the documentation um, for a full description. Um, and um, this particular version, um, it, which is not complete yet, because I've still got to put the individual um, individual saves so um, um, that will be at a later date thank you and good night